As the month of July is almost halfway over, many school districts have started to announce their plans for reopening in the fall. With no official plan from the State Department of Education yet, all school districts statewide are left to do what they feel is best. In Madison County, school will start as of now on August 6th as planned, with students rotating days for distance learning and in-person learning until the 13th. Now, on the 14th, all students will learn from home, with the 17th serving as the official return to campus for all students and teachers. Now, we spoke with Madison County School Superintendent Charlotte Seals today to see what the district's biggest challenges are and how they're making the most of this very fluid situation. It's a, it's a tough one because, you know, many of our parents have reached out to us saying, you know, we need school to start. Uh, it, it's, it is very, very dynamic because you want to keep everyone healthy. You also want to keep your community moving forward. So school districts are in a very tenuous position here trying to navigate which direction to go. And so, you know, I wish we could say, oh, yes, everything, we're, we're, you know, we're hoping, we're planning, but we're also going to have another plan in case we can't do that. Now, this interview is one of many we're preparing as part of our next roadblock, Rebuilding Mississippi, the Education Equation. And that series will feature a look inside Mississippi's educational system from higher education all the way down. And that will start next Monday right here on 12 News. Well, tonight we are also speaking to local parents to see their reaction to schools reopening. For more on that, we turn things over to 12 News' Alex Love. Alex? Absolutely, Byron and Melanie. You can see behind me, Cardozo Middle School still sits quiet and empty as it has for the last five months. I spoke to the Patton family who lives in this district, and with the reopening debates going on, they're weighing in their options as a family. They told me that Jackson Public Schools has been working with its principals to lay out three different options each household could take as they see fit to send their kids to school safely. If you don't feel comfortable coming in five days a week, you can do a mixed schedule, sending your child two to three days a week while doing doing the other lessons online or keep it digital only full time. The Patton family wants to go with the hybrid option of learning in school and at home in the same week, but we'll keep masks handy and social distance at all times in class and on the bus. A lot of the parents had that feeling of, you know, what what to do next, you know, um, a little anxiety there, a little apprehension, you know, you're not really sure what to do. And, you know, you're just kind of listening, trying to see what the school districts are actually offering. And I'm glad that they are offering different options. Um, and that makes parents kind of feel a little at ease to know that I have options instead of, oh, you're, you know, you have to bring your children back. We reached out to Jackson Public Schools who told us that they will release their full reopening plan later this week, but that it does include those three options to give parents more of a choice as they see fit, and it also puts a lot of precautionary measures inside every campus to make sure teachers and students are safe and healthy. We'll dive more into this in our 10 p.m. newscast, but for now, live in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.